What is up mga kumpare? Tara pag-usapan natin ang naganap na karambola kanina sa San Miguel practice o scrimmage na makikita nating pinangunahan to ni Wells at Santos. San Miguel turmoil worsens as Des Wells locals fight in practice. Ito nga po ay via Spin PH 2 hours ago. Ito ay kanilang pinos mga kumpare. A dark cloud shrouded San Miguel and its quest for a Grand Slam season after word came out that import Des Wells got into a fight with teammates Arwin Santos and Ronald Tubi during a scrimmage in practice. Di Sunday nga po yan mga kumpare. Kanina lamang po. Minit-init pa ito. A number of witnesses bird temper started to flare when Santos set a hard pick that knocked Wells to the floor in the heat of the Beerman scrimmage at the upper deck in Pasig City. Nakita po natin dito mga kumpare na umiscreen nga po si Santos. Talaga namang natumba dito data si Wells. All the cooler heads managed to separate Wells and Santos. Witnesses claimed to be the good friend of Santos punched Wells soon after. In the heat of the commotion, SMB big man Kelly Nabong punched to be before order was finally restored, a source added. The fight ruined a scheduled team celebration for five-time PBMB. P. June Marf Harlow will turn 30 this Sunday. Happy birthday sa'yo, abay! Talagang binigyan ka lang ng magandang regalo dito, ano? Witnesses said fans who were allowed to watch practice were asked to leave the premises as team officials sorted out the mess. Nakikita po natin dito mga kumpare na pinalabas nga po ang mga fans na pinayagang manood sa kanilang laro dahil nga sa karambola. Talagang inayos na lang muna kanilang gulo at nang hindi na makita dito ng mga fans. San Miguel officials have yet to respond to requests for comment on their incident. All those sources said management has scheduled a team meeting later in the day. As it is, insiders revealed an uneasy peace in the Birman camp since Wells went down with an ankle injury in October 27 against Miralco that forced him to sit out for a long stretch. Mga kumpare, na-injury nga itong si Wells in October 27 contra Miralco. No? The highest-scoring Wells rejoined the team in practice on the eve of a game against Blackwater on November 6, but mysteriously sat out the match, fueling speculations. The Beermen brought in an import replacement in John Holland, na yun nga po ipinos natin dati, who failed to impress in a 91-85 loss to Rain or Shine last November 9 in Cebu City. That should explain why Wells is still here. Although the fight is expected to widen an already big gap between the flamboyant import and this local teammates. Kaya nga po hindi pa umaalis itong si Wells eh, parang hindi sila satisfied dito kay John Holland. Ang photo na ito po ay galing kay Jerome Ascano. The commotion cast a dark cloud of uncertainty on the status of Wells as well as the Beermans bid to complete the second Grand Slam in franchise history. Inahanggad nga po nila ang second Grand Slam nila sa para sa anilang franchise history mga kumpare pag sila yung nag-champion nitong Governor's Cup. The Beermen are true to the PBA Governor's Cup quarterfinals and seeking a twice to be the advantage ahead of their final match against rival TNT Catropa on Wednesday. Inahanggad nga po nilang makuha ang twice to be the advantage. Ang laro po nila ay sa Wednesday kontra TNT Catropa mga kumpare. Tayo yung manood. Anong sa tingin nyo mga kumpare? Bakit nga ba nagkakagulo itong Birmen? Pangalawang beses ng masangkot ni Arwin Santos sa isang karambola kontra sa kanilang import. Bakit kaya mga kumpare? Comment down below kung bakit lagi itong napapasama at talagang tinulungan siya dito ni Tubid na teammate niya rin noon nung siya ay sinakal ni Ronaldo Balkman. Yun lamang mga kumpare, maraming salamat. Huwag kalimutang mag-like, comment, and subscribe para manatiling updated sa ating mga videos. Hit the notification bell. Ito nga po pala ang inyong Kuya Dondon. Hanggang sa muli, Power Rangers!